Hello everyone. It has been a while since the last video. Uh, last week we have a promotion so that we do not make a new video. Uh, today I will show some problems which our customers meet recently. Uh, the first problem is for our early series power supply uh, to charge battery or other things. Uh, uh, you can see on the screen uh, there is uh, this is import voltage and this is preset voltage and preset uh, current uh, this is the value you want and for this is uh, for this it is uh, uh, real output voltage current and power this is uh, real output at the terminals and you can see there is a option named OVP and uh, OCP, uh, which is means the protection value for output voltage and current. For example, uh, if your load can withstand six MP max, uh, you set six MP, so that the output will not damage your load. Once the output is exceeds 6 ampere, the output will be shut down. The other day a buyer told me that the device does not work normally. Uh, once he turns on the output, uh, it, it will be turned off in a very short time. So after checking his problem, I found that uh, he set the value in the wrong option. He want to charge a battery, so uh, he charged the uh, he set the correct uh, voltage. And uh, for the current, uh, he want to use zero point five ampere to charge the battery, but he set the value to the OCP value. So the OCP value is set to 0 0.5 ampere and uh, the preset current is 6 ampere. So once he turn on the device, uh, uh, turn on the output, uh, it will output 6 ampere and it exceeds the 0 0.5 ampere uh, protection value. So the output will be turned off. And it will show OCP here. Uh, it will tell you the shutdown reason. Since we talk about the battery charging, uh, we can go to the second question. Uh, you need to choose the correct output terminals to charge the battery. We recommend you to use the black terminal as negative terminal and the green terminal as battery charging positive terminal because we uh, made a protection uh, for the terminals uh, if you connect the device into the wrong way uh, it will not uh, charge the battery only when you connect the battery in the correct way uh, you turn on the output and it will work. Maybe we choose a, a wrong color for the battery charging positive terminal. Uh, it is green. So some customers may think that it is a ground terminal. So they may be confused. Uh, why do I need to use a ground terminal as po positive terminal of the battery? Uh, actually, it is not uh, the ground terminal. It is just uh, maybe the green color makes you confused. For our RT series power supply, except the RT6012, uh, you can use the PC software to control multiple devices at the same time. But there are something you need to know. Uh, you can control 32 devices 
max at the same time. Of course, they, they need to be the same uh, model. Uh, for example, you connect 32 RD6806 or 32 RD6012. And uh, each device is need, need an IS485 model. This. It should be installed into the communication socket on each device, not just one single device. And you need to prepare a USB to RS485 converter so that you can connect them together to the uh, same PC software. Just like what I show on the screen, uh, you can choose the co connector uh, you like. The third you need to know is that you need to set the device address differently. Different devices cannot share a same address. For example, the address You can see the address of this is 001. So uh, if you connect two devices, uh, one is 001 and the other one is 002, so that the PC software can, can choose them separately. Otherwise, uh, the PC software does not know uh, which device needs to be controlled and uh, the data uh, needed to be changed. And if you have any suggestions or advice for our devices, uh, you can contact us on WhatsApp or on email in the description of this video. And thanks for watching.